Hey yo, what is going on boys? It's your boy Tabs, but of course you guys know that. Welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be looking at Never Lose. Uh, I'm not one to rage cheat very often, but when I have done videos in the past, and I'll play some examples on screen, it's always usually been with Never Lose. Uh, back before I was banned from GameSense, RIP UID 469, uh, I was a GameSense user, but uh, other than that, like that's what got me into HVH, and since being banned, I've pretty much only used One Tap or Never Lose. One Tap hasn't been updated in fucking forever. So that's kind of irrelevant at this point and uh, never lose seems to be the way to go. Anyways, this video is brought to you guys by Rev Unity. You can find a link in the description down below and use code tabs on checkout. Let's hop right into it. I'm super excited to go through it and uh, I don't think I have a never lose config anymore, but if I, if I do, it'll be available to members. Actually, no, there is still one there, but the one that I use is a little different now. Either way, let's hop into it. So starting at RageBot, we have our weapon selection that is automatic. So if I switch over to the op here, you guys will see the op in hand. We can open up the menu and as we can see, it's swapped to op. We have enable for the main setting in RageBot, peak assist, hide shot, double tap, field of view, auto scope, auto stop. Now, please take note that I do have a lot of this stuff disabled so that I wasn't sitting here opening the menu going through it while my rage bot was just automatically spamming. We have selections for your head, chest, stomach, arms, legs, and feet, your multi-point, and in the settings of there, we can do head and body scale. We have our hit chance here, and you can also turn on double tap for that and set the bind or change it to auto, etc. We have our min damage here that you can set to auto all the way up to, I think, plus two or something like that. Actually, we can just check it out. Got plus 30. So I leave mine on auto, min damage, we have delay shot, penetrate walls. We have our safeties here for forced body aim, prefer or default. You can also change that for the disabler and the force on peak. You can change the safe points from default to preferred to force. Wow, I sound like a two-year-old saying that. We have ensure hitbox safety. So we have uh, chest and stomach as our safe points there. And that's pretty much it for the main uh, look at RageBot for your weapons. Uh, some of these settings, I think, will change based on gun, but I could be completely wrong. I don't think they do. Uh, if I take that out, yeah, no. So it'll it'll just save your settings for that weapon. And of course, for knife, it's just going to stick to global. So moving over to anti-aim, we have enable your pitch being fake up, fake down, down and disabled. Our yaw being backwards, disabled and static. And of course, you can change your yaw base from local view to at target. We have offset, avoid backstab and hidden. We also have our yaw modifiers here, so you can change your offset percentage, and you can change that from disabled center, offset, random spin, three-way, and five-way. Body yaw, we have on and off. Why did I just b-hop forward? Autism struck. Uh, we have invert, left limit, right limit, options for jitter, randomized jitter, anti-brute force, and overlap. We also have our freestandings. We have off, peak fake, and peak real. And I think I said inverter, but if I didn't, this inverts your body yaw direction. We also have our freestanding for disabling yaw modifiers and body freestanding. We have our extended angles, so you can extend your pitch and roll. A lot of servers actually do just disable this, so it's kind of almost not worth using sometimes. Uh, but of course, you can toggle that on and off. We have our fake lag here, so you can enable that. You can change your limit and your variability. Uh, and in MISC, we have fake duck, slow walk, and leg movement, and you can change that from walking sliding to default. And that's pretty much it for the anti-aim section. Moving on to the legit bot. Uh, I personally would not recommend using Never Lose as a legit bot. A lot of people say that it's green trust, it's green trust. I don't I don't believe that any rage cheat gives a fuck about your trust factor. Like when you go to play HVH servers, VAC is disabled on 99.9% .9 of them anyways. I would not believe that any rage cheat cares about your trust factor unless they've come out specifically and said, hey, listen, our legit version, good to go. I don't think Never Lose has and I really don't think they give a shit. Uh, so if you're getting any kind of rage cheat, don't expect to use some shit like this on your main unless you're doing dash insecure and playing on a VAC free server. So for legit bot, we have enable your activation type, auto aim or hotkey, your hotkey selected. So that'd be mouse one aimbot disablers. We have enemy in smoke flashed or in air in accuracy. We have the RCS, which you can change the yaw and pitch to and turn that on to standalone or default. We have our FOV, our smoothness, our override first bullet, and that'll be smooth and FOV. And you can enable that or disable it. Automatic fire, which you can change the hit chance to penetrative on walls, and you can change the min damage. Kill delay, first bullet delay, backtracking, and visualize FOV. Really, there's not that much in the legit bot. Uh, it's pretty much just the rage bot with uh, with a few added features like smoothing and such. Moving on to the visuals, we do have players here, which we have behind walls, dormant, shared ESP, in-game radar, bullet tracer, off-screen ESP, sounds, uh, and in champs, we have model, glow, weapon, history, on shot, and ragdoll, and that's under enemies. You can go to teammates and self to do Pretty much all the same stuff with a few things taken off, especially for teammates as you don't want them to be crazy, but you can see mine here. This is what an enemy looks like 
in teammates. This is what my teammates will look like. It's pretty much just the teammates on for uh, weapons. And then self, so you can see that here. Moving on from players, we're going to go to the world here. We have our field view, override zoom, third person. You can change the keybind to that. Visual recoil, removals, ambient for night mode, static props, post-processing, fog changer, skybox changer, and illumination. For world DSP, we have bomb, weapons, grenades, and crosshairs. We have hit marker, hit marker sound, bullet impacts, grenade prediction, grenade proximity warning, Asus walls, and Asus props. And moving on from world to inventory, we have a basic inventory changer. And these are all set up to be like this nice little color. So everything looks awesome. Moving over from visuals to miscellaneous, we have our main setting here. That's going to include movement, other, buy, bot, and in-game. So for movement, of course, we have bunny hop, air strafe, air duck, quick stop, strafe assist, infinite duck, and edge jump. In in-game, we have clan tag, shared features such as shared ESP and others. We have preserve kill feed and reveal, so you can see enemy chat, overwatch players, player money, and their ranks. In other, we have anti-untrusted, unlock CVARs, filters such as console and server ads. We have windows, so we have the watermark, hotkeys, spectator, bomb info. Uh, you can see the top right that we have that there. So we can put like spectators here. This is like going to be your bomb defusal. The last time I used this sheet, I was doing it in ultra wide, so that's primarily why uh, all this stuff is kind of messed up because I am in 16 by 9 to record videos. We have log events for aimbot shots and damage dealt. We also have weapon actions such as quick switch and auto pistols and fake latency. In buy bot, you can enable that and just have it every single time in a round by the same stuff. Moving on from main to scripts, this is where obviously this cheat is going to go above and beyond because everything script related is honestly the best. So the scripts that I have and the ones that I would recommend, Acid Tech for sure. Chimera Lua V3 I have not used very often. Custom Skyboxes is great. The Apollo Lua is something that I used a lot. It really depends on what config I'm using as I do utilize different ones for different play styles. Beautiful Trails, as far as I'm aware, is no longer updated, but it gave you a cool rainbow trail or custom color that you picked. We have custom scopes and view models in scopes. I don't think this is updated anymore, so I'm not 100% if that works anymore. We have low delta, randomized low delta. Don't know if that works anymore. Uh, we also have leg fucker here, which was really cool by Lazarus. This, this was like the best thing to use when you were using an auto. This thing would beam legs like crazy. No longer sure if that works. And then in my items, we have Nade Helper and uh, New Script, which these are kind of just all over the place, random. Moving on from scripts to configs, we have the config system here, which is going to be uh, pretty much just stored on their local server and you can share. So in the Taboo Edits is the main config that I usually use. It's Vixie's HVH config, but the problem is I didn't want to make a config from scratch. I'm very much like you guys, where if I can just get a really good config that I know my friends use, I'd prefer to use that and then change things as I go. So Vixie's HVH config is pretty much a one-to-one -to, -one to drop kick the lobby. Uh, I do not believe this config works anymore because I haven't updated it in like forever. So I'm going to recommend not using my Never Lose config, even though it is in the Discord. I don't think it'll work for you ever since Never Lose got updated. But of course, on Marketplace items, I have Taboo, MM, HVH, um, Tabs, HVH, Never Lose config. These are these two were just ones that I used when I first started using uh, Never Lose, and they were like more MM related, so there wasn't like a crazy amount of uh, AA, so I wouldn't get in trouble. But anyways, I can uh, quickly just go around, show you guys. Uh, this is the config. So we have our oof arrows. We have uh, knife, name, and of course, we have the health bar and our chams. Overall, I think Never Lose is probably one of the better cheats, if not the best cheat that you can be using. If you want a public cheat, that is. Uh, obviously, if you have something else, go for it. But realistically, a lot of the cheats are all on the same level. It's really about Lua's these days, even with stuff like Game Sense. So it looks like my dropkick the lobby config does work. As you can see, fake lag is like going crazy right now. Primarily why I don't use it, but this is the drop kick the lobby config. Fake lag is going to go crazy. It's going to make your game freeze up in a, in a custom match. But yeah, that's the drop kick the lobby. And then if we go in here and load my edited version of this, you can see this config right here. In my opinion, Never Lose is probably the best public HVH sheet that you can use. And if you guys want to see streams with it or anything like that, definitely let me know in the comments down below. As you guys know, I did a showcase review of Airflow and I figured uh, dropping Never Lose in there because a lot of people asked me to look more into HVH stuff is probably my best bet. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there's anything else you guys want me to look at, review, etc., or you know a reseller that sells the cheat that you're looking for, tell them to hit me up. If they want a video, I'll be happy to do it. My name's Tabs and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, Rose. Peace. Boy.